Quebec hydropower plants are among the means of electricity that create the least amount of greenhouse gases. Emissions from reservoir-generating stations are comparable to those of wind farms and are four times less than those from photovoltaic solar facilities. This is mainly because of the processes involved in manufacturing wind turbines and photovoltaic panels. Hydropower generating stations emit 40 times less greenhouse gases than gas-fired power plants and 100 times less than coal-fired plants. Quebec hydropower reservoirs are rich ecosystems. They are great places to fish and very attractive for recreational and tourism activities. For example, Basquetong Reservoir in the Gatineau Valley comprises a community wildlife area dedicated to walleye conservation and management. It is used by thousands of anglers and is home to colonies of common terns and herring gulls and even loons. When building a hydroelectric facility, we incorporate numerous mitigation measures to protect habitats and ecosystems. These include spawning grounds for walleye, sturgeon and Atlantic salmon, weirs and fish passes, wetlands, raptor nesting platforms and staging areas for migrating Canada geese. Forty years of scientific studies have demonstrated that a reservoir in Quebec is comparable to a natural lake. Reservoir ecosystems are similar to those of a lake, and the various fish and ducks there live out their natural life cycle. The Romaine is not Quebec's last great untamed river. In fact, Quebec has some 500,000 lakes and 4,500 rivers. Hydro-Quebec has harnessed 75 rivers to generate electricity. Quebec still has many great rivers that have not been developed for hydroelectricity, like the Moise, the Nottoway, and Broadback. Many of these rivers have a higher flow at the mouth and a much bigger watershed than the Romaine. Both energy efficiency and all forms of renewables have their place in a balanced portfolio that takes into account costs to customers. By 2015, Hydro-Quebec will have invested $3.5 billion to achieve 11 terawatt hours of energy savings, equivalent to the annual consumption of 650,000 Quebec households. With our customers' participation and support, we are confident of reaching that goal. It's currently more expensive to generate electricity with a wind farm than a hydropower facility. Right now, wind energy costs just over 10 cents a kilowatt hour when the wind farms are located near major consumption centers. Wind energy cannot be developed on its own because it cannot provide the same power as a form of energy like hydropower. Wind energy has to be used immediately because the turbines can generate electricity only when it's windy. If there's no wind, the turbines stop generating and cannot meet our energy needs at that time. So we have to be able to count at all times on a steady source of supply in order to offset the wind's variability. Photovoltaic solar power doesn't provide the same service as hydropower. It cannot meet the demand for power early in the morning or in the evening. For it to make a real contribution, we would need a lot of sunshine, which we don't have in early morning and evening during the winter when it's very cold and the grid is working at full capacity. 
Despite recent developments, photovoltaic solar power is still considerably more expensive than electricity from a project like Romaine. In Ontario, for instance, consumers pay 44 to 80 cents a kilowatt hour to integrate photovoltaic power into the grid. In Germany, we're talking about close to 60 cents a kilowatt hour for photovoltaic power, which translates into big rate increases in countries where there's been large-scale development of solar energy. Spain, for instance. As soon as photovoltaic power is advantageous to customers and competitive in terms of cost, Hydro-Quebec may integrate it into the grid as a complement to hydropower and wind power. In Quebec, geothermal energy, biomass and biogas run up against the same constraints as wind and solar power. They are all currently more expensive. According to the Canadian Geo-Exchange Coalition, the average cost of the geothermal system most commonly installed in Quebec in 2009 was $28,000. Approximately 800 systems are installed each year. Hydropower generating stations with reservoirs provide Hydro-Quebec with a reliable energy supply. During morning and evening peak hours, our reservoirs enable us to quickly adjust generation to demand, as turbines can easily be started up and shut down. That stability and flexibility make hydropower an energy source that can support the development of other renewables that are intermittent, such as wind and solar power. A renewable energy project costing around 6.5 cents per kilowatt hour is a very good one. Hydro-Quebec follows the principles of sustainable development at all stages of its hydropower projects. If a project is to go ahead, three conditions must be met. It must be profitable, environmentally acceptable, and favorably received by local communities. The Romain project will generate extraordinary economic spin-offs, totaling $3.5 billion, including $1.3 billion in the Côte Nord region alone. If we develop wind energy 1,000 or 1,500 kilometers away up in northern Quebec, the cost of transmission would be much higher. Existing transmission lines don't have the capacity to handle the additional power from new wind turbines. So new transmission lines would have to be put up, and that would be expensive. First, let me explain what biomass is. Biomass is waste from farms or the agri-food industry, which can be burned to produce heat and generate electricity. It's a good solution where industrial facilities, such as pulp and paper mills, produce large amounts of that kind of waste. There's an estimated untapped biomass potential of 2,000 megawatts in Quebec. That's equivalent to the electricity used by some 720,000 households in a year. Unfortunately, biomass sources are often in remote areas and scattered widely throughout Quebec. Using biomass energy on a wider scale to produce steam heating, for instance, would require the conversion of farmland into energy-producing land through the cultivation of certain types of crops. For example, fast-growing trees could be turned into wood pellets and then burned. But do we really want to use farmland to produce energy? The other big challenge is that homes would have to be equipped with steam heating systems and piping. Installation would be possible in new buildings, but it would be very expensive to retrofit existing buildings.
By 2015, wind farms will account for 10% of our installed capacity, but we need a reliable source of supply to offset the wind's variability. Hydro-Quebec is interested in all forms of renewable energy. In Quebec, geothermal systems are already cost-effective for commercial and institutional uses under certain conditions, and Hydro-Quebec encourages their installation by providing financial assistance to customers. At Hydro-Quebec, several forms of renewable energy are being developed as a complement to hydropower, with a view to ensuring that Quebecers continue to benefit from among the lowest electricity rates in North America. It's important to continue to develop hydro in Quebec because that's really the foundation on which we can overlay energies, renewable energies like wind power. It's really the base. In other areas in the world, they also have their, their foundation energy. In Europe, a lot of it is fossil fuel and they're adding to that renewables, but they have fossil fuel. In Quebec, we've got the tremendous advantage of having a renewable energy like hydro, which is really foundation, a very stable, reliable foundation on which we can then add renewables like wind power. Large hydro projects, the ones that we choose to develop, are tremendously profitable. When we look at these projects, we always look not at the market price for next year. These projects, a project like Romain, is going to be completed in 2020. So we look at the market prices, reliable, predictable market prices for the coming decades. And if you look at our track record in this area, we've been pretty good in terms of developing the right projects. The profitability of Hydro Quebec is a reflection of the past decisions we've made in this regard. We need all forms of renewable energy. Hydroelectricity uh, here in Quebec, which is the foundation. Wind power, which is a, a very uh, fast uh, evolving uh, form of uh, renewable energy. But we also need uh, more energy efficiency in terms of how we uh, use electricity, uh, both here in Quebec and elsewhere in North America and across the world. We need all this because the real challenge is displacing coal and uh, oil in the terms of the transportation sector. Uh, coal, because it still is today the largest form of energy used to produce electricity in North America, and oil, because that's how we fuel our transport sector. Hydro-Quebec is continuing to develop a tremendous legacy for future generations. It's built on what we inherited in terms of past developments, but it's also built each and every day through the continuing development of hydro, but also the integration of renewable energies like wind power, uh, through the development of a grid, a transmission grid, which is a very reliable transmission grid to serve the markets in Quebec, the consumers in Quebec. It's a tremendous legacy, and we're continuing to invest in it each and every day.